finish line jump there and is taking his mind away from the inside. Uh, Matt Boney might want a uh, little revenge here. We'll see what happens. It, it's pretty sketchy passing on the inside. But most of the guys are going outside on this track. So therefore, the insides, uh, you know, they're getting little pebbles in there. It's really hard packed, slippery, pebbly. You're taking a chance of not taking yourself out, but also the guy in front of you. For you, Major League Baseball continues on ESPN first on Sunday night. Baseball presented by Taco Bell features the Dodgers sporting the National League's best record as they take on the Braves at 8 o'clock. And then on Monday night, baseball presented by Holiday Inn. It's the Cubs and the Reds at 7. Well, we hey. just passed the halfway point. Braves still pretty good. I mean, he's right good. He's had a, had a bunch of good races so far this year in the regular motocross supercross season. And, uh, Looking, uh, looking pretty good. Fifth last year comes out of a, like a the arena background. Yeah, he got his best finish this year in out at the last outdoor race in uh, Washougal a week ago. He got uh, fourth place in the uh, in the motocross the 450 class. So uh, that says a lot, man. That's the best of the best. Last year he finished fifth in the X Games. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, I, I think he has a good chance at, at up in that position a couple. Absolutely. At the same time, though, man, you know, just Wyndham has so much time, and uh, I think he could be just hanging low, and waiting for the main event. But uh, well, like you like you point out, I mean, it's really ego that would drive you to try to get number one because it doesn't get you anybody. No, not not this was other than uh, game position, I believe. But Wyndham can't lay back too too much because. Uh, we got Blow Saboni starting to uh, starting to heat up. And here's a white flag. One to go. Crap. So Breaking much out in front. And I see that, and I just want to get out there. And finish line <laughs> jump. But look at this. Boney might want revenge, guys. Get oh back. no! Got to ride her down. Looks like Chris blows. Yeah, blows. Uh, Blows laid it down very hard on those 90 degree turns where he crashed to, uh, uh, it's, it's actually very easy to lose your front end. And I'm guessing that's probably what happened. You know, he got lucky because his bike must have stayed running because he only lost one spot. Yeah. Uh-oh, look, uh, look who's coming behind him though. Actually, look at our leader there. Great, just on cruise control, putting it together. He's gonna be pumped up about this. Here we oh, go. Very excited. Right. Checkered belt. Hey. Justin Brayton. Kevin Windham taking second. And now we'll see what happens back here. Boney comes across in third. Float comes across in fourth. Those are your transfers. And there is your 114 bike of Justin Brayton. KTM takes the win. Let's go back and look at that start. See what you think, guys.